All right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhadash. So all praises to the world cause God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem and in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful lake preaching his word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazabon in Great Millstone, Arizona, Camp Lord Well with another video to edify. And, uh, yeah, bro, you know, he saw something's moving. He's about to reset this system. You can tell the fact that, that they don't even care about who they giving out money to anymore. It said, <laughs> they can sit here and talk about stimulus checks over and over again. You know, this, this place, you know, isn't going to be healed. Let me let me get that scripture. This is um Here you go, this is Jeremiah fifty one and I'll start at seven. It says Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunk. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And this is why you see all these new packs coming out where, where all these other nations are sitting there coming up with new monetary system you know Russia dumping off the US dollar all these countries are dump, dumping off the US dollar what because they can see it's not worth anything you know and this is Esau's plan man because he's getting ready to chauffeur in a whole new system that whole new world order that whole new new monetary system that will govern the entire world you know the way they want to make 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 the world borderless is to bring everybody under one currency. You know? It says Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, she may be healed. And and they've tried to do that. You know, they brought brought out stimulus checks, right? The sanctions on other nations to try to uh force companies to do business in America, you know, the sanctions on products, on on on, on uh natural goods. You know, throughout all these countries, that was that was the bomb, trying to put some luster back in America, and that shit is all rusted out, man. America is completely corroded, right? Monetary system completely corroded. The dollar here is not worth anything. It says, verse nine, we would have healed Babylon, but if she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go, everyone, into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven. And she is lifted up even to the it says and is lifted up even into the skies. You see? So this place is judgment. And it, the fact that this place couldn't be healed, you know, they didn't they didn't, you know, take the advice of the prophets. They didn't you know, America the so called white man did not did not hearken unto the prophets, you know, charming ever so wisely, right? They went on in their bullshit. You know, all this predatory loan practices, building a whole monetary system off of debt. You know, this place is through. And now you're seeing them chauffeuring a whole new whole new monetary system. I'll, I'll, I'll play just a, a little bit of this in a lower will. Um, this be edifying. Uh, full disclosure, you know, this is this is not being used to make any type of revenue. You know, I do not gain any money for this. This is strictly being used for educational purposes. You know? It's the Fair Use Act. Our currency is not current. Old money, as rich as it looks, is flat out broke. Don't believe me? I got the receipts. We call it green, but it's only white. Where's the women? The black folks. And the people of color. Native Americans got a nickel. A nickel! People don't even stop to pick up a nickel off the side. Seven million Americans have no bank account. 
20 million on the bank. Old money's not gonna pick us up. It pushes us down, exploits, systematically oppresses. See, really, they trying to use use Jake because this whole new money thing is all about the new world order. It starts going into whole transsexuals and all these other nations, everybody in their own ideologies. You know, this is what it's about because it's going to lift up that new world order, that new world government. Now, this is uh, 2 Corinthians, I think that was 11. Let me get this, man. Thank you, Corinthians 2 and 11. It says, least Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his, ignorant of his devices. And in this monetary system, you know, him using Jake to prop these things up, the visuals that he puts in, all this stuff, this is really just part of his device. He's trying to make this whole new re, re, uh, uh, restart with a whole new monetary system sound beneficial to everybody. You know, this is why he gets the best of the best to try to go on these commercials and advertise this shit. Because if it was so if it was so uh beneficial, he could legit just put you know Boris Johnson's old ugly ass on the screen, you know, <laughs> looking like he just got boozed up and tell you, hey, this is what we're doing, you know, this is this this sounds gonna help us. But no, he tries to he tries to put all these uh actors, these celebrities, these directors, all all on, on front street to do this because they're trying to push for a whole new system now. Also, this right here is what's been going on. Peep this. There are certainly advantages uh, to a central bank digital currency or, or a, fastened, a faster payment system. Uh, but there are certainly risks. Is that That's the case, right? Um, this is not a riskless proposition. It's a pretty bold proposition for, for uh, the Federal Reserve, is it not? Yes, and it will lay out the possible potential benefits we'll put those out on paper and also you know the potential risks that, that are undertaken and and you know i think those have been written up in, in many forums around the world and and i think they're both are real and um you know it really depends a lot depends on the u.s institutional context and on why we would need a, a central bank digital currency and how you weigh those costs and benefits so that's really the nature of the exercise because basically what, what they're going to do is they're going to centralize digital currency, meaning they're, they're basically going to outlaw all that other stuff. So it's going to end up having no value, right? This is what's getting ready to happen because it's going to sweep away all these other digital currencies. Because if you're not down with the system, if you're trying to get money on your own, they're going to get it out of there. You know, this is why you have blockchain technology to track everything comprise all the data into one little small piece of information that can never be deleted you know this is what esau is getting prepared to do right and, and so stable coins certainly have uh some advantages in terms of a uh, faster payment system and and have some of the attributes of uh cbdc but there are some risks uh, with uh, stable coins right now. Are there not? Are there concerns you have about stable coins? Yeah, I think the issue, stable coins are a lot like money market funds or bank deposits or a narrow bank, depending on the terms of them, that kind of thing, but without the regulation. And I, I think we, we have a tradition in this country uh, where, you know, where, where the public's money is held in what is supposed to be a very safe asset. We have a pretty strong regulatory framework around bank deposits, for example, or money market funds. That doesn't exist, really, for stable coins. And if they're going to be a significant part of the payments uh, uh, universe, which we don't think crypto assets will be, but stable coins might be, then we need an appropriate regulatory framework, which, frankly, we don't have. See? And they're going to get rid of all, all all that underground money, all that Bitcoin money. They're going to get rid of that, and they're going to bring in a new system, man. This is uh, Revelation, the 13th chapter. Because this all turns into the mark of the beast, man. Revelation 13 and... And... Um, I started 12. It says, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him 
and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And what was the first beast? The Roman Empire. Right? You know? So so what? How did how did how did how did the Roman Empire heal up and become relevant again? Through the Treaty of uh through the Treaty of Rome, man. Coming right back into power. Right? It says it says verse thirteen, it says, and he it says, and he doth great wonders, so that he maketh fire to, uh, fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. And, and really, when this all came back, you know, that beast, the Roman Empire, right, had a whole bunch of vassal states. It ruled the whole known world at the time. And so when the Roman Empire came back, right, it came up back with a whole bunch of vassal states, which was what? NATO and the EU. Right? You know, Rome was the figurehead, but all those vassal states made up that beast. Because nobody could move unless that beast was okay with it. And just like now, man, the NATO holds all the power. So when it says right here, and he does great wonder so that he called so that he make it fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men that's talking about the first actual bombing through through NATO which was what on Yucasalapia you can look the history up it says um that first bombing of that beast that whole beast system where they agreed upon it was on Yucasalapia it says and and deceived them that dwell that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on earth that they should make an image to the beast uh, uh, which had the wound by the sword and did heal. Meaning they're going to make a whole new system. That image goes into that system, man. The character, the way of doing things, right? Verse 15, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image, that system of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship that image uh, uh, as would not worship the image of the beast that new system should be killed so if you don't get down with this right you know right now they're sitting there making it so like it sounds like it's just gonna be you know bitcoin on on uh on debit cards no that's 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 old that's old technology they're moving whole new things in right this is going into a whole new system right it says um verse 16 it says and he causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads you see to be able to use this system right you're gonna have to receive what that stamp showing that you're down with it. I mean you're gonna have to get chipped this is what Esau's planning man you're gonna have to get the MOTB man Revelation 13 chapter bro it says verse 17 it says and that no man might buy or sell see this is where that cryptocurrency this old digital currency market is coming in play because if you don't have this no man might buy or sell say he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and this is the time we're in now where they're starting to pull forth that system and pull out this technology to make this this thing happen man and this is this is the time. This is the time, man. This is why they're shutting down the cities. This is why they're using this whole pandemic to 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 weaken the economy, weaken the middle class. Because there's not gonna be any fucking room, you know, for for a middle class when they're resetting shit. A middle class can sit here and have a have a, a, a ideal about, you know, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'll be just fine. You no, know, it's either going to be the poor or the rich. And the rich are going to get down with this shit. Because what? They got many riches in this world. They want to hold on to that, man. The poor, you know, there's going to be the poor. There's going to be the wicked. You know, that's going to get down with this system because they just, they're just tired of being down and out. And then there's the poor that are going to have a, have a, a, a sense of uh, integrity and fear towards the Lord, which, Lord well, I'm a part of to refuse this man right this is what's this is what's getting ready to happen this is verse 18 it says um 
I'll, I'll go to 17 again. It says that no man might buy or sell save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For is the number of the man and his number is 600, three score, and six going in a psi, chai stigma, right? You got to go into these words, man. When you go into Revelation, right? And that 17th verse, when it, in the 16th and the 17th verse, when it goes into that mark, it goes into what? Karagma, which goes in Karax and, 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 and uh, 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 Grapho, man. Going into that, that whole system of, of blockchain technology. All of this, man. That Grapho goes into the entire aspect of, of crypto cur cryptocurrency, right? Blockchain technology, you know? So this is stuff we're supposed to look for, man. We we in the time, you know. The Lord is about to make a move because when this devil makes his move, the Lord's gonna make his move, you know. So Lord willing, that was edified. I'm say call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai, Bashim, or Kakadah, Shalom.